the Tribunal case I was involved in was all about um, looking after children and what the VAT liability was of the charges made by the business for looking after children um, during the summer at an activity type camp. So HMRC was saying that VAT should be charged on the fees, whereas my position was that those fees should be exempt from VAT. Yeah, the outcome of the case was that, that my client won. Um, and so, uh, uh, so the tribunal accepted that the predominant reason uh, for, for parents um, placing their children with my client was that the children were going to be looked after. Um, and so that meant really that the, the charges were always going to be exempt from VAT and so the, the client could keep all of the income rather than paying 20% over, uh, over as, as VAT. The advice I give to, to people in a similar position to my client um, is to take advice because this is sort of a grey area but actually it's been made a lot clearer now after actually this, this tribunal decision. Um, if you don't ask HMRC to, uh, to, to look at your position, then they won't come to you and give you VAT back and say that you, your supplies are exempt. So I think it's really important um, to actually look at your supplies, to look at the case, and if you think that you're making exempt supplies and you are very similar um, to the case where I won, then approach HMRC and ask for a VAT refund. Um, if they do prove problematic, then take professional advice.